Today's read aloud is called Weather Words and What They Mean. Written by Gail Gibbons. The weather changes from day to day. Weather words explain what the weather is like outside. The weather is made up of temperature, air pressure, how much moisture is in the air, and how fast the wind is moving. Air pressure is the force produced by the height of the air pressing down on the earth. Moisture in the air comes from water that evaporates, mostly from the oceans. Wind is air in motion. The temperature goes up and down. When the sun rises in the morning, the air becomes warmer and the temperature goes up. When the sun sets, the air becomes cooler and the temperature goes down. The temperature also changes with the seasons. In the summer, the sun is high in the sky. The days are warm and longer. In the winter, the sun is low in the sky. The days are cold and shorter. High pressure is when air particles are close together. The air is usually cool and dry. High pressure often brings fair weather. Low pressure is when the air particles are farther apart. The air is usually warm and moist. Low pressure often brings bad weather. The amount of moisture in the air is called humidity. Warm air has more moisture in it than cold air. At night, when the air cools down, it can't hold as much moisture the moisture that forms on the ground is called dew. If the temperature goes below freezing, the dew freezes. Then it is called frost. Moisture makes clouds too. When water evaporates from rivers, lakes, and oceans, it is called vapor. It moves up with the warm air and forms little drops of water or ice crystals. A cloud is formed. Clouds come in all shapes and sizes. There are three main kinds of clouds. Cumulus clouds are puffy. They are fair weather clouds. Cirrus clouds are the highest clouds. They mean fair weather too. Stratus clouds are low gray clouds. Sometimes they bring rain or snow. There are other kinds of clouds with long names. They are combinations of cumulus, cirrus, and stratus clouds. Cirrocumulus clouds usually mean changing weather. Cirrostratus clouds often bring rain or snow. Nimbostratus clouds bring rain or snow. Autostratus clouds often bring rain or snow. Stratocumulus clouds usually are winter clouds. Autocumulus clouds can bring showers or snow flurries. Sometimes the sun shines through them. Cumulonimbus clouds are thunderstorm clouds. A cloud close to the Earth's surface is called fog. Rain forms inside rain clouds. The water vapor that evaporates from below forms tiny water drops. The tiny drops join together and become bigger drops. When they are heavy enough, they fall. Rain. Rain comes down in different ways. Drizzle is when raindrops are very small. A shower is a brief rainfall. A normal rain lasts longer. A rainstorm is when there are strong winds and lots of rain. Sometimes there are floods when it rains for a long time. Thunderstorms are scary. Lots of tiny drops of water whip around inside the cloud at very high speeds. When they rub and bump against each other, they make electricity. When enough electricity builds up, it bursts through the cloud and flashes. This is called lightning. Lightning is very hot. It heats the air around it. The air expands and boom! 
it makes a loud noise called thunder. Everyone loves looking at a rainbow. This may happen while it is raining or just after the rain stops. When sunbeams shine through drops of rain, the light breaks up into seven colors. A rainbow appears. Sometimes in the winter, it snows. Snow crystals form when water freezes inside the clouds. When the snow crystals join together, they become snowflakes. When they are heavy enough, they fall. Snow falls to the earth in different ways. Flurries are when it snows lightly. A snowstorm is when a lot of snow falls. It can be windy. Sleet is snow that melts and refreezes before it hits the ground. A normal snowfall occurs when there is little or no wind. A blizzard is a very heavy snowstorm. The snow becomes deeper and deeper and the wind howls. Sometimes it hails. Inside the cloud, ice crystals are tossed up and down. Water vapor freezes onto the ice crystals in layers. When they become heavy enough, they fall as hailstorms. Wind. Wind happens when warm air moves up and cooler air moves in to replace it. Warm and cool temperatures affect the wind's speed and direction. Wind direction is where the wind comes from. When wind blows with more and more force, a windstorm develops. There are many kinds of windstorms. Often, they cause damage. A gale is a strong windstorm. A hurricane is a spiral-shaped windstorm that comes from the tropics. A tornado is a funnel-shaped windstorm that twists as hot air spins upward. The many combinations of temperature, air pressure, moisture, and wind create different kinds of weather conditions. A big area of weather that is the same is called an air mass. The boundary between two air masses is called a front. The boundary is where the weather changes. The weather is hardly ever the same from day to day. That's why it is so interesting. The driest place in the world is a desert in Chile. It hasn't rained there for over 400 years. A number of years ago in France, a tornado crossed a pond and sucked up everything. At the place where the tornado stopped, the people had a surprise rainfall of fish and frogs. There is enough electricity in one flash of lightning to light a house for one year. It rains more days each year in Hawaii than in any other place in the world. There, it rains about 350 days a year. The coldest recorded temperature was in Antarctica. It was negative 126 degrees Fahrenheit. The hottest recorded temperature was in Northern Africa. It was 136 degrees Fahrenheit. Sound travels at 1,088 feet per second. If you are one mile from lightning, it will take about five seconds for the sound of thunder to reach you. It's believed that no two snowflakes are ever the same. The highest wind speed ever recorded was 231 miles per hour in 1934 on Mount Washington in New Hampshire. When you hear a weather forecast that gives storm warnings, pay attention, be careful.